Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to explore the friendship between Mateo and Macaw, who live in the Amazon. After that, we'll learn some interesting vocabulary. Listen carefully. Mateo is a young boy who resides in the world's largest rainforest, the Amazon. His best friend is the rare blue macaw. He's an enchanting and majestic creature, adorned in stunning azure feathers that evoke the beauty of the sky. Macaw's favorite pastime is when they're going kayaking. But he knows that they need to be careful because under the musky waters, there are many piranhas. Mateo and Macaw make fantastic partners, yet there are times when they must be apart from one another, especially when they go hunting. However, Macaw will always be on the lookout for danger, watching over his friend. The Amazon presents a significant amount of danger that includes the stealthy and fierce jaguar a dominant animal in its habitat, the formidable and prehistoric crocodile, another powerful aquatic creature, and the venomous snake, perfectly camouflaged with the environment. Sometimes they need to travel a great distance to find a good spot where they can fish without the risk of encountering ferocious piranhas. They even take the opportunity to go for a nice swim. On a hot and humid day, it is a good thing to do. Afterward, they can enjoy the beauty of the waterfalls, an activity that Mako really enjoys doing. As the night approaches, they need to set a fire. It will also help keep predators away. The same fire will be used to grill the fish they caught earlier. Matteo and Macau are inseparable friends who look after each other. They live in a small village amongst other family members. Matteo and Macau have their own cabana where they can enjoy each other companionship. But sometimes, they leave their safe cabana to go into the jungle for a night adventure. Now, let's understand the vocabulary highlighted in this video. The verb to reside means to live in a particular place. It implies a more permanent or a long-term presence in a location rather than a temporary stay. The term rare means something that is not commonly found, occurring infrequently, or is unusually uncommon. A creature is a general term used to refer to any living being, whether animal or human. Azure refers to a bright, vivid shade of blue, often reminiscent of the color of the sky on a clear day. Musky waters typically refers to water that has a musky or earthy scent, often due to the presence of organic matter or vegetation. To be apart from one another means to be separated or distant from each other. It implies a physical or emotional distance, where two individuals are not in close proximity. To be on the lookout is an idiomatic expression that means to be watchful, alert, or attentive to detect or notice something. To watch over means to observe, guard, or protect someone or something with care and attention. A habitat refers to the natural environment or surroundings in which a particular species of organism, plant, or animal thrives. Camouflaged refers to the act of concealing or disguising something to make it blend in with its surroundings. 
A great distance is a phrase used to describe a considerable or substantial physical separation between two points or locations. Afterward is an adverb that means at a later time or following a particular event. It is synonymous with subsequently or later on. In the phrase as the night approaches, the term approaches is used as a verb and refers to the action of the night drawing nearer or coming closer in time. To look after each other means to take care of one another, providing support, protection, and assistance when needed. The phrase each other refers to the reciprocal relationship or interaction between two or more people or things. Amongst is a variant of the word among. Both words have the same meaning and can be used interchangeably. They are prepositions that indicate being in or with a group of things, people, or objects. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.